Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. My name is Daniel Laskwitz and in this video I'm going to talk about the new Power Apps Git integration. The Git integration is part of a bigger feature called co-authoring and that's something you already might know from Word, Excel or PowerPoint. In those apps you're able to open a document and a coworker can open a document and then together you can work on a document at the same time. With Power Apps, this wasn't possible yet, but this is the first step in that direction. So you will be able in the future to open a Canvas app, for instance, ask your colleague to join the same app and then work together on that app. Whether it's on two different screens or one screen, that doesn't really matter. But there are currently in the co-authoring feature that's going to enter the experimental phase now, a couple of things that you should know about. For instance, when you work together with a colleague on a Power App and uh, you are changing a lot of things on the app and the colleague is just replacing a label, for instance. Um, when you both save the app, uh, the last save is the one that will end up on the source control. That means that when I'm, for instance, working on an app and I am creating a bunch of new things and my colleague is working on the same app and they just change a label, but they save the uh, app a little later, then it means that the last save is the one that will get saved into source control. And that means that it doesn't really merge well on that case. But in this video, we are mostly going to talk about the Git integration, and that's the part where the Power App, whenever you save it, it will enter the Git integration, and that will be something within, for instance, Azure DevOps or in GitHub. And I'm going to show you that by doing a demo. So let's just drive in. Okay, so here we are on my desktop, and we have the Power App Studio open. I already created the Canvas app. Uh, it's a tablet app, it has a home screen, and it has one label in here, LBL title, as the name, and that's what we actually have for this Power App. It's not a beautiful app, it's just to show you how the uh, Git integration works. So let's move on and go to settings, because that's where we con can configure the Git integration. Let's go to upcoming features because it's an experimental feature and we need to um, select those here. There are multiple categories here. We're gonna select the experimental one and we're gonna scroll down until we see the Git version control setting. And that's what we need to enable. So let's do that. When we enable it, there is another, um, an another menu item in the settings. Uh, so here we can say, let's click on Git version control. In here we see another screen where we can connect already to the Git repository we want to connect to. So if we hit connect, we can actually start and um, we can select a Git repository URL. In this case, I'm going to go to GitHub and I'm going to create a new... Um, repository here. I'm gonna uh, create this and call it git. Uh, let's call it git power apps. You can select a private uh, repository. That's always the best to do because otherwise everybody will see your source code. And in this case, uh, private is the better option. Uh, for now, I'm gonna select add a readme. Um, it will set the main branch as the def default branch. So that's something that you should remember as well. When you hit create repository, it will start creating the repository. And we already have a readme in here. We can see that we have the main branch here. Uh, for now, I'm gonna copy the URL of the repository. I'm gonna go back to Power Apps. I'm gonna add the uh, repository in here. And then for the branch, we can use main. So let's switch back and see, yeah, it's all um, lower case. So here is main. For a directory name, we're gonna use power git because that's the name of our app. And 
um, it's always nice to see a directory in here. So when you do that, um, the directory will be created. So if we look at the Git uh, repository, there's currently only a readme.md. But when we have enabled the Git, um, the Git integration, it will also create a directory there where all the contents of our app will be in. Let's hit apply. And now we need to add our username and password. The username is pretty easy because that's the name that you can see also in the URL. So that's the username. But the password, because I have, for instance, multi-factor authentication uh, enabled, I need to create a um, token. And I can do that by clicking on my, uh, my icon and then on settings. And then I need to scroll down a little bit because the thing I need to do is uh, hidden away in the developer settings part. When I select the personal access token, I can create a new one. And uh, I'm going to use uh, power git as the uh, name. I can set an expiration here. So if you want to uh, make it a longer um, uh, expiration, you can do that. You can also use no expiration. That's not uh, something that a lot of people want you to do. So make sure to do a, a shorter period than no exp uh, expiration. In this case, I'm going to do seven days. I'm going to select repo as a scope. And I'm going to scroll down and generate the token. Now I have a token here. I can copy it. I can go to Power Apps and I can paste it. When I hit the sign in button, it will already sign in. It gives me a pop up. Um, which asks if I already um, want to create a directory because that's um, uh, because the directory that I entered um, was not found in the Git repository. So if we go back um, a little bit, oh, let me just go to my profile. That's probably the easiest. And if we go back to the repository, you can see that there's no directory here called Power Git, and that's why. Uh, it's asking me to create a new one. And in this case, I want to create the directory. So let's hit yes. And now it will save it. And if all went well, I can go back to the GitHub repository and I can refresh. And we can see that PowerGit is a new directory in here. And that happened only 14 seconds ago, so it went all right. And this is the extracted um, canvas app. So there are a bunch of things that are already in that, uh, in that app. So there are some JSON files where you have all kinds of things um, uh, in that uh, file. Uh, you have connections, entropy, uh, packages, and also uh, the source. When you select the source directory, you can see app uh, .fx.yaml, homescreen.fx.yaml, themes.json, for instance. In this case, I only want to open the home screen and see what's in there. And this is exactly what we actually saw in the app. So you can see that um, there is a home screen here, and there was only a label with power git as a text. And you can see all kinds of uh, properties in here. But to show you that it really works well, I'm going to uh, close the settings and I'm going to add some other things in here. So for instance, I'm going to add a icon. So let's add this check icon to, uh, to see that as well and call it Ico check in this case, because we always rename our uh, objects, of course. And let's add another button. And uh, let's call this great success. And let's call this uh, BTN success. And let's save this and see what happens in the Git repository. Because if we now uh, refresh this page, it should show us all the different parts in here. 
and I can see the scroll bar is a lot longer now. So here we see that um, there is an icon check that's uh, that's in there. You can see that the property icon is icon.check. Um, and there's also a button called button success. And you can see that great success is also in here. So this is uh, actually um, exactly what I wanted to show you guys is that whenever you enable this Git um, integration, you can easily make sure that your source code is actually saved inside of uh, a Git repository. And that's really nice to see. And um, also, uh, sometimes you might want to copy paste certain things that you want to reuse, for instance. Uh, that's something that you can do here as well. Um, and um, uh, that's something that's really cool to see. Um, let me actually see one thing. Um, if we can do that here. So edit this file. And this is something I'm just going to try now. <laughs> so let's hope it works. Uh, let's go back and change the text of the button that we have. And let's commit it. So let's add that here. And now go back to the Power App and hit the refresh button. So let's check for changes and see if this works as well. So it's loading. And it actually showed, shows the name that I just changed in the Git repository. So I changed this to success with an explanation mark and it actually shows that in the Canvas app as well. So that's really cool to see. So that was the Git integration that's in Power Apps. I hope you liked it. And if you want to ask something, please leave a comment. And I hope to see you at the next video. Bye bye.